Well, while congressional Democrats are getting ready to head home for summer break, gay and lesbian Americans are hitting the gun range. In Obama's America, that's what you got to do. Democrats are zeroing in their target on guns and Christians and throwing a pajama party pout fest if they don't get their way. Well, gun control is not the answer because guns are not the problem. I want to show you something, this FBI statistic right here. You might not be able to see this on the paper unless you have super spidey vision, but it says that there were 14,000 murders reported by the FBI in the year 2014. Of those 14,000, only 248 were committed with a rifle. If, if congressional Democrats were actually serious about preventing terrorists from purchasing guns, they wouldn't have voted no on that bill in Congress to notify the FBI when people on the terror watch list try to buy a gun. Christianity isn't the culprit here either. To oppose a policy like gay marriage does not entail hatred of gay and lesbian Americans as people. But crucifying Christianity is the easiest thing for Democrats to do, and to ignore the reality is the most convenient. Nowhere on the liberal media will you see this photo. To comfort his friend, his former teammate from high school, outspoken Christian Heisman Trophy winner Tim Tebow flew home from the Bahamas. He visited Rodney Sumter, who was shot three times while bartending at Pulse nightclub that fateful night. Nor will you hear a peep from the media about the generosity and compassion from Chick-fil-A, who stayed open on the Sunday following the attack in Orlando, despite their support of traditional marriage, to feed the masses lined up to donate blood to the injured. It's far easier for liberals to fudge the facts, smear the truth, blame the gun, crucify Christ, throw a petulant fit in the House of Representatives, than it is for them to admit that from sea to shining sea, the more guns we carry, the less that crime thrives. The more refugees who gain entry, the more Trojan horse attacks we suffer. The longer we ignore the threat of radical Islam, the more terror, the more death, the more massacres are brought to our shores. And that's my final point. Reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. And if you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. Be sure to catch Tipping Point again tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern. And have a good night.